What's up everyone, it's Bones here. Today we're gonna be doing some tile work over at this million dollar house. This house was fully renovated over the past few months. This is what it looks like now. So practically everything in this house was redone. Before, we had really dark floors in here. We pulled it all out and redid the flooring throughout the whole entire house. It really brightened everything up. We went through and redid all of this baseboard. Over here in the kitchen, there was a wall right here. We took that out to help open everything up for this whole entire downstairs. We had brand new custom cabinets and quartz countertops. Previously, it was a dark granite countertop. We also redid all the backsplash above the stove and throughout the whole entire kitchen, as well as brand new appliances. I've never seen a fridge and freezer this big. These stairs were all carpet. We had it replaced with luxury laminate planking. Let's go check out the upstairs. We replaced all the trim and baseboard. They wanted a nice cherry hemlock trim. And last but not least, we redid all the tiling for this whole master bathroom. Some of you might be wondering, how is this house worth over a million dollars? Well, if you step outside onto this balcony from the master bedroom, you'll see why. It has this absolutely amazing view of the ocean. It's back up off of the shoreline, so you're not getting beat with the salt water, and you have a ton of land. Currently, we're working on turning the garage over into a sunroom. We're in the finishing phases. So we're working to get the tiling done in this room. We'll get the baseboard up and then this house will be done. Me and the old man are probably gonna work late tonight so that we can get this all cranked out. Then we'll be able to grout it the following day after the mud has set. Once that's done, we should be able to seal it and then do the baseboard and we should be good to go. now is putting down mud. This gives a little bit of a barrier between the concrete to the tile. This is the back side of the tile that we're using for the job. What I'm doing next is called buttering. So we'll put on some of this mud and then fan it out into the grooves. What that does is it creates a bond between this piece of tile and the mud that we just laid. And some of you might be curious as to what these white pieces right here that I'm putting down on the ground are. Those are actually our spacers. These right here, we place them underneath the tile and this width right here gives us our spacing between the tiles. That way we can have a nice clean line when we do the grouting. And we use a special type of spacer that has threads on top. That way we can use these orange leveling devices. They just screw on like this. That right there makes sure that the whole floor stays level. That way you have no peaks and valleys when walking across the tile.
so it's getting a little bit late, so we're gonna call it a night. We'll be back at this again tomorrow. The past couple of days, I forgot the camera, so I'm gonna give you a quick update. We went ahead and got all the painting done on the exterior of the house. We were also able to get the rest of the timeline done. We got the curves put up. We got the trim for the window sills, walls this door installed, and we have one more going over there. Now that we're all done with the tile, we're gonna go through, clean what's on top of the tile, get rid of all that mud, and then grout. As we're going through and cleaning the tile, we ran into this huge issue. This right here is part of the tile, but it looks like some acid got on it, so we're gonna have to pop this tile out. Now that the tile is all pulled up, we're gonna go ahead and mud it and lay another tile right there. While I'm doing that, Dad's over here grouting the tile that we currently have laid. We'll leave this area alone for right now and we'll come back and do it later. Crisis averted. Now we can get back to doing the grouting. We are all done with the grouting, so we're going through and cleaning the excess grout off of the tiles. The tile's all cleaned up and it's looking good. There's only a few things left to do. We have to polish the tile and we have to get some baseboard. Unfortunately, none of that stuff is here right now, so we'll do that next Tuesday. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Cool.